Okay, y'all. So, Riley, you ready? Before I go to bed, I'm going to speak on this because I got a few little DMs about uh, Reaction Channel reacting to my video. And uh, let me say this. All them motherfucking big bad bitches is motherfucking blocked. I don't give a fuck about what nobody got to fucking say about me. What the fuck I got going on. My relationship. Ain't nobody shaping shit over this motherfucking way. And I feel like I let that shit go on for a little bit too long. And now motherfuckers feel like they done put their skates on. And they think they getting in the ring, bitch. But I come knocking bitches down. I am not to be fucked with. I am not to be played with. And this ain't what this is finna be. Not in 2024. Bitch, y'all had it in 21, 22, and 23. Let me be me. I don't give a fuck what these motherfucking hoes got to say. You get what I'm saying? Don't play with me. She not to be played with. Respectfully, Lily, you do care. Because if you didn't, you wouldn't have made that video. I just had to throw that out there. But on another note, what's up, friends, foes, and subbies? I know I haven't touched on this topic in a minute. And I honestly didn't want to touch on it after seeing the backlash that King's Corner got for doing what she does, reviewing. I mean, we review... We enjoy the reviews. Sometimes we enjoy the reviews more than the actual videos. It almost gives off the vibe as if you're watching with a friend. So the reaction channels, I believe, are needed. I love to hear what people think, especially when I'm thinking the same shit. Don't be mad. <laughs> you put it out there. and We're talking about it. Oh, one last thing before we get into the video. Why wasn't it an issue when the reaction channels were agreeing with everything that you did? But now, when people want to call out the inconsistencies, it's a problem. Um, when she started talking about the breakups, I cut it off because I thought we were going to like kind of get into it, into it. But to touch on a couple of things. First of all, what y'all think about it? Y'all think that, that it's, it's officially over between the two? Y'all think that this is just something that they're going through and it's they're going to figure it out? What's tea? Shout out to King's Corner. I love her reaction channel. Her and my other fave are Nick and Carla. I wish Nick and Carla would have touched on this, but I guess they're just on a break. But anyhow, I want to point out that King's Corner is asking the audience, what do you think about it? She's not really being judgmental for real. She's asking the audience, what do you think? Do you think that they really broke up? And she does throw in her two cents, but... After watching the video for a second time, King was not disrespectful. She was just being real. I can say I agree with Lily and I understand completely where she is coming from when she says I've been healing for three years or six years, 10 years. It doesn't matter. You see what I'm saying? King even agrees with Lily on how she feels on the healing phases. I mean, nobody could really pinpoint when they're going to heal and how they're going to heal but yeah again this was not a negative review king just pointed out some things that needed to be pointed out you already knew which route she had to take but when you make content a lot of the times you are planning your content you're planning your titles so that you know how to plan your thumbnail and if you do things after you record, how she was on there crying and stuff, I don't think she cued the tears or, you know, whatever. But it so happened to flow like that. Her emotions got all out of whack. And when it was time to edit, upload, and post a thumbnail and title, she might have said, hmm, how can I let them know that it's about B without letting them know it's about B and without making it seem like me and B was a we? I would like to think that if you publicly come on YouTube with a person, you didn't talk about all the good sex y'all having. You didn't talk about all the great dates y'all been on. Y'all just went out of town for Valentine's. Lily is showing us that B is not worth being her official girlfriend on camera. But me personally, I feel like they never made it official. So when she made her title and she said, I am going to say not another breakup. This way I could talk about my fiance. I could talk about a friend. I could be talking about B. I could be talking about whoever. And she fucked y'all up with that. Clickbait at its finest. She's talking about what's in the title. And she knew that she could go ahead and get away with putting all that shit at the beginning of the video because they going to watch it, right? They're going to be trying to catch 
when I said what. So all the way at the end is when she talks about it. But just because she says breakup does not mean that she meant a romantic relationship. What King is saying here is what a lot of people were thinking. Were they in a relationship? And then we do see that they call each other bae and boo and all that stuff. But was it official is the question. And we could tell off of the messages that Grams had released that it wasn't. I actually love Lily and B together. It's just, I don't know, refreshing to see them. They have fun. They look great together. And I love both of their personalities. But I'm not going to lie to you. That shit did hit a little when I seen the messages. And you made B out to look crazy. And in this last video that was posted, you actually confirm that she was crazy so i don't know what y'all are going through i hope you can grow through it heal through it but don't be mad when people commentate on it if you're the one putting it out there for us to commentate on let me correct myself you didn't confirm that she was crazy uh you confirmed that she's highly intuitive and she feels and she's human and she actually really does love you um crazy I can't really tell because I'm not in your relationship. I only know what you put out and what you put out was that she was crazy. So when she comes with her, her, her smart ass comments, you know, cause she came over here saying something about we slow too, right? So she's in her comment section calling her comments are slow yet again. And the girl even said, I love you in the comment. And she's still, you know, stupid as you, you asking stupid ass questions or slow ass questions or something. It was rude, whatever it was, right? So she's in her comments like that's a dumb ass question. It wasn't for you. Woop -de -woop -de -woop. She got y'all. Y'all want to know how are y'all breaking up a relationship that was never a relationship, but it was a relationship. It just wasn't a romantic relationship. It was a lustful relationship. And I'm sure they probably had a couple heart to hearts. You know, it was an actual probably friendship, friendship with benefits, an exclusive friendship. But how y'all feel about it? Because after this, I went on to Instagram and the first thing that popped up when I opened up Instagram was a reel. And the reel is pretty much like, oh, I just uploaded a video on YouTube and they in the comment section talking about how is it a breakup, but there was no relationship. And she got, you know, a little funny stuff going on. What make it worse, I call my friend. As soon as I put my face in the camera, this bitch cackling. Hang up on you. Not in the mood. And then I see in her caption, the caption pretty much like the internet be having her messed up and y'all just pretty much need to get y'all shit together. It also confirmed my feeling for what Lily said with the whole strategic we broke up thing, right? Because she says, regardless if it's a friendship or a relationship or a situation ship or a fucking ship or whatever, it can still be broken up. And it just went over, it just went over a lot of people's heads, right? And right under that, she is pretty much advertising her services. If you know me, you know I had to go look up the post. Lily says, the fact that the internet be having me fucked up sometimes is an understatement. It doesn't matter if it's a friendship breakup, situationship, or relationship. When you care, you care. A lot of people ask questions about why I feel the need to tell the internet anything. I literally get paid to exist. It's a lifestyle. And it's not for everybody. And not for the weak. And then she goes into her class is in session. And that is... I guess the promo for her business. So, Lily, why are you upset with what King's Corner had to say? She's literally just calling it as she sees it. And she's not the only one that does. So, I just come, right, to all the subscribers. I just come to tell y'all, like, don't get y'all panties in a bunch about a lot of this content that's put out because some of it is just marketing. Okay. They're going to use drama to market a service or, or sell some sort of good. Is she lying? <laughs> She's literally just putting people on the game. Social media is a business and that's all she's saying. So I don't see why there was a video made to call her out. I hear people are saying she called her big back. I don't agree with that. Um, I thought maybe she said big and bad, big, bad. You know, I'm making excuses because I just don't understand where all the anger is coming from. But at the same time, 
You don't know how somebody feels when they're being scrutinized and everything that they do is being, you know, picked at. So I will sympathize in that case. But other than that, King's Corner did nothing wrong. Not in my opinion. I need y'all to take this shit as entertainment. YouTube is entertainment. Content creators know that once we put a specific title and a specific thumbnail on there, we got you. But one thing for sure, two things for certain, delivery is everything. And the way Lily comes at her supporters, her online support system is wild to me. Almost similar to how Peach come at her online support system. It's wild to me. If you're not 100% agreeing with what Lily is saying in that comment section, if you're not saying, I agree, I feel you 100%, you slow. You don't get it. You dumb. It doesn't matter if you put, hey girl, I love you, but X, Y, and Z. It doesn't matter. If you don't agree with what she's saying, you're slow. And that's the crazy part. That's, that's, that's what I don't understand. But hey, people gonna do them regardless. Y'all just be mindful and understand that everything that is done and said on YouTube is for clout and it's for money. I don't care who the creator is. It is for clout and it is for money. And some people need it more than others. Before I get into this, let me just make this clear. For all of the influencers that say this is what they do for money, this is their career, this is what you do. You have to understand that the reaction channels, some of them, this is their bread and butter. So you cannot be upset if you put something out and it's called out. So let's get into this post. So after she released the video talking about a breakup, she posted this. If you ever thought about entering the lesbian community, don't. Only 2% survive and those be the little cute family couples y'all see on IG who've been together for years. The rest of us got the zombies from the apocalypse. So obviously we know who she's talking about. We know who she's referring to. You cannot be upset if people decide to report on the story. So let's get into the video real quick from this post. Who the fuck called the retrograde and told this hoe to show up? I did not ask for this. I do not want this. This is not what I fucking signed up for. I don't know what kind of grade A twat I got, but it attracts motherfucking stalkers. What kind of aura is going on up in here? But I'm going to... Uh, look. I don't... I don't... I don't... I don't... <laughs> hey, I really... I'm really not set up for this shit. I'm really not. Like, I don't know how to fucking argue and talk shit and read a bitch because I hit hoes. Like, and I, that, I, I don't know all of that bullshit because... Alright. <laughs> we ain't forget this one. <laughs> a couple of months ago when Grams came out trying to expose Lily, Lillian um, B, you know, posted this post. First one to talk about our drama on YouTube or my stalker has to pay the tab. I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> this is not the first time she referred to B as a stalker. So you cannot be upset if people are pointing out certain things. I mean, you put it out there. So. Now, let's get into a comment that was posted under the post calling B a stalker. Someone says, it's clear that you've always had a knack for expressing yourself. And that's something I've always admired. See, this is positive. Let's face it. We ain't saints. No one is. You see, this person is basically in informing her. I understand nobody is perfect. And then she goes on to say, but ain't it time we start holding ourselves accountable? Time to ditch the immature stuff. Social media ain't always kind. And guess what? It's cool to be real and transparent. But remember, standards matter. We get it. Drama sells. But hey, ain't it time for a change? Don't want to lose your loyal crowd, do you? Because one day, you're all about personal growth. Next, you're about throwing fists. It's quite the roller coaster. She continues and says, so who are you really, friend? It ain't just us wondering. Chill out and rethink a bit. 
Lily responds and says, does it really matter who the fuck I am? Because how the fuck will knowing who I am affect you? So understand this. I know it sounds rude, but she's in defense mode. She's going through it. She's going through this breakup situationship, whatever you want to call it. She's upset. So I don't really find this one to be a big deal. Like I'd probably say the same shit. The woman was positive, but at the end, it did kind of seem a little condescending. So who are you really, friends? I'd be pissed too. Just saying. All right. So this comment just confirms that we may be possibly talking about B, although Grams has locks too. A young lady says, Lily, don't let them dare get you. Fuck them. And Lily responds, girl, that's easier said than done. Catch me walking around with locks in my hand. So, yeah, we know shit just got real. Lily's mad, mad. Now, let's get into the big back comment because, you know, I was, like I said, making excuses. She wasn't calling King's Corner a big back. But here goes somebody saying, that's not nice what you are saying when you struggle with your own weight. You are in public, so people will have their own opinions. And Lily responds and says, do it look like I give a fuck? See, now, Lily, I don't like that. <laughs> That's just me. <laughs> That's why people are feeling like Lily can be rude to people. Because she just said, That's not nice. Like, why are you calling her Big Bag for real? Anyhow, then another person responded and said, King was just being honest. You let Grams play in your face for years and look crazy for her. The public has an opinion. And you can't get upset, especially when they calling out things that are just obvious. So after all that was said on Lily's side, I decided to go check and see what B had to say. And B says on her story, y'all don't need to get comfortable. Don't believe what y'all see on the Internet. Y'all got to chill. Y'all got to let her get her rocks off. Laughing emojis. Don't take this shit to heart, gang. Just enjoy this for right now. Y'all know that's my shorty. See, I'm going to say this. To me, that was a red flag. I'm not going to lie to you. Like when somebody puts laughing emojis, when something is serious, I always look at it as a red flag. Is it? I don't know. But I pray that this is not another situation. Huh. Another repeat. And you know what I mean. But it's just a red flag when you put laughing emojis during a serious situation. But at the same time, she could just be laughing because she knows that's her shorty and they going to be back. But the toxicity, uh, I'm over toxicity. Uh, I'm past that shit. I'm watching it, reporting on it. And I just pray to God, this is not another Grams and Lily situation. That's all. That's it. Next post. She reposted something that says, I got like two people I'm going to do something to and then I'm going to work on healing. And then she writes, I'm going to just put my shit on pause when the time come. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but uh, <laughs> y'all share your thoughts and opinions down below. I just sat this right here for you, just in case you missed it. And the last sub of the night was you get what you bring out of me. And to be honest, you guys, that goes for everybody. It really does. We don't know what they was feeling when they was going through what they was going through. How many breakups have you experienced where you break up, then make up, break up, make up? I know it's toxic, but hey, that's life. Listen, I don't know if I already shared this, but just watch it again. This is what Lily had to say the day after King's Corner's review on her breakup video. I guess this is why B said what she said. Is B wrong for reacting the way she reacted? Y'all tell me. Who the fuck called the retrograde and told this hoe to show up? I did not ask for this. I do not want this. This is not what I fucking signed up for. I don't know what kind of grade A twat I got, but it attracts motherfucking stalkers. What kind of aura is going on up in here? But I'm going to... I look. I don't I don't I don't I don't know. <laughs> hey, I really, 
I'm really not set up for this shit. I'm really not. Like, I don't know how to fucking argue and talk shit and read a bitch because I hit hoes. Like, and I, that, I, I don't know all of that bullshit because... Alright. <laughs> well, guys, after all that was said and done, Lily and B are back. They're good. And I hope that they stay good. You know, we don't want to see another repeat. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, we can't sit here and judge because y'all know y'all done broke up and made up. I had to end this with Tootie. I love me some Tootie too real. B bought her out. I fell in love. And she says, bro, y'all so fucking toxic. I'm sick of it. Crying, laughing emojis. And Lily says, Tootie. So, yeah, let's just mind our little business. But, I mean, we gonna still talk. We talking. <laughs> you put it out there, we gonna talk. Don't be mad, Lily. We love you. We love you, B. And again, y'all, I did not want to do this video, but something told me I got all these receipts just sitting in my phone for days. Just make the damn video. So I did. And if you mad and you block me, I'm going to make a video on that too. <laughs> all right, y'all, I will catch you on the next one. Leave your comments below your thoughts. I want to know. You know, healing is your own journey. Healing from a breakup for some people may take a month, may take two days. For others, may take 10 years, 20 years. So we can't say, you know, you've been healing too long. We can't go in and say, it's been three years, you should be healed. Who are we to say when someone should be healed? So I agree with her when she say that. You know, there's no time limit on it. But, okay, I think that her community and her online support system comes from a place of you've been saying you're healing for three years but in your process right you're healing from a relationship now I'm sure she has a million other things she's probably healing from that she doesn't even speak on on YouTube or maybe she spoke about it in the past and don't speak about it now but specifically just about the relationship right you're healing from a relationship but immediately when that relationship was over, you put yourself in another situation, as Lily call it, situation. You put yourself in another situation immediately. And I think her online support system comes from a place where they're not seeing how that is kind of making sense. You're healing from a relationship, but you jumped right into another relationship. How do you heal from this one and you're in this one? And maybe her subscribers are just not asking the right questions. I can see it being annoying for someone to be asking you like, hey, it's been two years. It's been three years. It's been four years. How are you not healed yet? How are you not healed yet? When really what they should be asking is on this healing journey, the methods that you're taking to attempt to heal, are they working for you? Where, where are you in the healing stage? Have you made any progress while attempting to heal? Because she, she went from a relationship now to another relationship, situationship, friends with benefits, ship, whatever you want to call it, right? She went from one relationship directly into the next, almost immediately. And so the people that are watching and her online support system, they're all just trying to figure out how in the hell are you healing for three years and you never sat down. That what she's talking about sitting down. You never sat down by yourself to figure your stuff out. How are you going to heal from a relationship in a new relationship? You, you don't lay with one to get over one. You don't. And Lily has been vulnerable. Lily has said she tried to uh, vacation it away and sex it away and drink it away and party it away and what and it didn't work however she tried to jump into something new and that didn't work either and it's never going to work laying with one to get over the other is never going to work so now here we are three years later and she's still healing right she's still healing from the first long-term relationship and now she has to heal from this new breakup. I'm not sure if she's going to lay with one to get over the other again, but to just kind of try and make sense of what her online support system, or it could be people who don't even like her online. Who knows? It could be trolls. It could be some of them fake accounts. 
who knows, okay? Regardless of the fact, whoever is online asking her, how, why is she still healing three years later? How It's because no one witnessed Lily sitting by herself, figuring her shit out by herself, sorting her issues out by herself. We seen her go from one person immediately to the next. And that's the same with the other party. And so when we keep hearing these content creators, these vloggers say, I'm on my healing journey. I'm on my healing journey. I'm on my healing journey. You're on a healing journey. You should be going in one direction, right? Don't matter how long it takes now, but you should be moving in one direction. Why does it seem like once you get to a point, it doesn't matter if it's three days in the journey, three months in the journey or a year in the journey, once you get to a point, you start to repeat a cycle. I'm sure many of you already saw the video, but if you haven't, please go check out King's Corner. Listen, I will play the entire thing just so y'all could hear her preach. Uh, okay. She she was spreading the word, I tell you. She gave some great advice, some great perspective. But you know, some people are not going to agree. And um, my thing is, if you don't want anybody to talk about you, don't post your stuff online. That's it. That's all. I'll catch you guys on the next. I just had to throw this in there because I forgot to. <laughs> Peace out.